In this video, we're gonna talk about the Echoes of Chaos, a new era since the events of Spawn issue number 350 when Nyx took the throne. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 29, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously, following the events of Spawn issue number 350, Gunslinger Spawn has become the target of the forces of heaven. It's been weeks since the change when everyone endowed directly by heaven and hell with supernatural powers suddenly all became mortal, altering their strategies on how to survive. We see Gunslinger Spawn Javier in human form in a hotel or motel, but no holiday inn. So for some, it's been a time to take advantage of being on equal footing with all of your enemies and associates. For others, it's it's been a time to retrench, attempting to sort out how vulnerable they might be and how long their nagging sickness will continue. And you can tell Gunslinger Spawn Javier, he's had that condition for a while now and he's hurt and his body's not healing fast enough in his opinion. And it makes his entire body feel like it's on fire as he picks away at it. He takes a shower but he's not feeling sorry for himself. He won't. For Javier, it's more complicated than that. Given that he's illiterate and knows nearly nothing about modern tech, making him an easier target. There's a knock on the door, he gets his strap and he opens the door like, who is that? How can I help you, ma'am? Well, keep in mind, Gunstick responds from the 1800s, so he's talking like that in the 2000s. Would you like your room clean today, says Linda, the clean lady, and Gunstick responds is like, nah, I'm doing fine, no thank you. Suit yourself, she says, but it's been three days already, eventually, I need to get in that room and clean it, alright? Well, she doesn't say alright, but you know how it goes. So elsewhere, hundreds of miles to the east, and I think this guy is Forsaken, and Forsaken is having a conversation with these other angels, God's rebellions, or now that they're on Earth, they ain't got no powers. So they're talking about, I thought you said this would be easy now that we should have some result by now gunslinger spawn should be out of the picture so this guy in the glasses is like our agents are just as vulnerable as gunslinger spawn is how many agents did you send and i think that's the forsaken i'm just gonna go with that 20 but since we've lost contact with eight so far and this guy's like man i'm afraid of that it appears losing his power may have actually helped gunslinger spawn at least from the few reports i've gotten you see, he's no longer the weakest hell spawn like he was before. He's equal. In fact, since he's always lived with limited powers, he's honed other skills to compensate for that. That could move him to the top of his ranks and make him quite dangerous. Not something we need while so much fighting is happening inside in our side. And that's referencing the events of King Spawn issue number 31 because, yo, there's some turmoil between their side and who's going on and who's getting weapons or forsaken. And now they need to use Spawn to kind of level the playing field. It's definitely like all this manipulation going on here. So Linda goes back to her quarters to get like some more cleaning utensils or whatnot. And these gang members are like, hey, Linda, when are you going to come work for me? You don't need this place anymore and Linda's like man I got work to do leave me alone don't be like that girl just want to let you know again how much I like you you're a fine fine woman we could both make a lot of money off of that what you say Linda well we know what they're trying to do but Linda ain't trying to have none of that and Javier is like Linda sweetheart he saves the day and tells her don't forget about our date tonight right didn't think so so this gangster's like mm, this your boy Linda or some dumbass I don't know his place Javi standing behind Linda opens his jacket briefly flashing his guns and knives you gentlemen best be moving on, all right? It takes a moment, but they do. So Linda chases down Javier like, where do you think you're going? And Javier's like, to my room. No, uh-uh, turn around, how dare you? I didn't ask you to butt into my business. I can handle those guys. I'm sure you could, but where I'm from, a lady usually says thanks when the man looks out for her. Are you serious right now, says Linda? You sound like my old man, and that ain't a good thing. When a woman wants help, she'll ask for it. You need to watch more TikTok videos that you know dang well Gunslinger Spawn's not going to get no TikTok reference, all right? Sometimes even guys barely get TikTok references. Okay, no, I'm probably just speaking for myself. But anyways, Linda tells Javier that now that you step in, these guys are going to harass me even more, so you made things worse. And Javier's like, ma'am, I'm sorry. Sorry if I did that. My name is Linda. Stop calling me ma'am. I'm over that crap, all right? This is the 2000s. Stop acting like you're some kind of Tarantino character. And again, Javier's like, I don't get no Tarantino reference. I don't get no TikTok reference, all right? So a screech happens and a truck goes over Javier's bike. And Javier's like, oh, hell to the nah. What the heck is going on? And Linda's like, was that your ride? <laughs> Not anymore, says Javier. Well, what are you going to do about it? Reckon I'll have to figure that out. So he goes to his motel, plops himself back onto the bed. He drifts off to sleep, wondering why his wound isn't healing anymore. Why? It's been over two weeks. We go into a flashback of what happened in the events of Spawn issue number 350 for Gunslinger Spawn's perspective. He was reluctant to return to hell, knowing that 
what might be waiting for him there. But if he was ever going to gain revenge on those that corrupted his sister Amy, there had to be an earth to return to and a ruler on Hell's throne that would have destroyed it. And that's referencing spawn issue number 350. So when the flash happened, that was the moment that Nyx took over the throne of Hell. Mysteriously, they were on Hell, then mysteriously they went back to Earth with empty weapons and a human form and no powers and crippled wings as some of the angels fall flat to their death. Silence falls as they all cope with what just happened. Our powers they're gone, but they all look at Gunslinger Spawn like, if our power is a gun, so is his. We got to go in and do some hurt on this boy. And Gunslinger Spawn is like, all right, the warriors barely notice and reach behind his back. He knows three things are for certain. One, he's outnumbered. Two, he won't show any fear. And three, if he's going to lose, they're going to damn well know they've been in a fight, all right? To his credit, he lasts far longer than he should have. In the end though, it wasn't good enough as a knife shanks Gunslinger Spawn in the midsection. And guess what? That is the first real pain he felt since the powers have been removed. The only reason he didn't die was the intervention of his mystical pet. Mysteriously, it had not lost its powers. And as he bled, he knew he'd have to live another day to fight another day. So his pet wakes him up back into the present time. He thanks him for licking him and, you know, he needs to give him a name one day because we don't know what bro's name is. Behind, a door creaks open and it's Linda. And she asks, may she come in? Hope you don't mind. I use my master key. That's how I got in. You don't look so good through the window, says Linda. Why is she peeping into the business like that? And Javier is like, okay, you know, it's all good. And she's like, well, I didn't mean to scare you. But about that, I want to apologize for taking my anger on you. It's been a tough year. Got no one in my life right now. And I shouldn't have said what I said to you earlier. I'm sorry. And Javier is like, well, then maybe I can help you with that. I'd like to make you an offer. And she's like, well, is all that money in the bed yours? You a bank robber, a drug dealer or something? Nah, baby girl, I came by honestly, says Javier. So what's the offer, says Linda? I need a new ride, says Javier. And you've got one of the metal cars. And if you'd hear me out, I think I can explain how you and I can make a good combo. And I'll make it well worth your time. Hear me out, baby girl. And that is the end of Gunstreaker Spawn issue number 29. Obviously, a slow start to Gunstreaker Spawn issue 29 and a slow start to King Spawn issue number 31, given the events of what happened in Spawn issue number 350. And because it's a new ruler, a new artist, and a new direction with these stories, you gotta pay the way and foreplay slowly into the new direction of this story however it's going to unfold which i imagine is going to be pretty good but we got to drag it out for a little bit but with all that being said what you guys think of gunstreaker spawn issue number 29 comment below let me know also don't forget to check out ratedcomics.com for some really cool limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry lastly this review is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.